Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to this special series on the North Node in astrology. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Now, the, the idea for these videos came from friends and fans just like yourself on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and my website, NadiaShaw.com. I am so grateful for your interactions. I truly appreciate them so much and all the positive energy that you bring. And if you have an idea about a special series that you would like to see, please do let me know. So this video is on the North Node in an astrology chart that is in the sign of Scorpio or in the 8th house. Now, the 8th house has to do with, just on a very surface level, one very literal understanding of it has to do with shared resources. And it has to do with money that is not necessarily earned through a salary, but money that we would get from a bank, from a lending institution, from a grant uh, giving institution as well. The kind of money that we might have to apply for and get in one chunk, or it has to do with benefits, taxes, paying taxes, receiving tax refunds as well. And of course, it has to do with, because it's about sharing resources, it has to do with the money of your spouse. Now, when the North Node is in the eighth, house, you got to find a way to share your money. <laughs> it comes down to you needing to interact with these different institutions, financial institutions. Life is going to encourage you to be resourceful, to access funds, as opposed to wherever your, your south node is, that's an area of your life that you have your back to, that you're moving away from. And so you're, you're moving away from simply just having a paycheck, simply from thinking of money in terms of your salary, or if I do this work, this is what I'll get in return, and towards an understanding of money as something that you can um, understand or access in terms of these different uh, institutions, thinking of how it is that you can actually reach into different areas and, and find resources that you need, how it is that actually you can bring what you have to another person or in some cases, as I said, an institution, foundation, if you will, and find a way to merge so that the two or more are better together, are stronger together. But also there is an element here where it comes to money as not just thinking about it in terms of give and receive, if you will, give this amount of hours, receive this much, but also in terms of wealth building as well. And there is an element here that has to do with understanding money in terms of the law of attraction. So the law of attraction is covered under the eighth house. And that is because it has to do with understanding money as not just about money, not just about what you're earning, but understanding it as energy, understanding it as perhaps a type of power, understanding how it's connected to different types of people, different types of um, institutions, uh, lending bodies, if you will. And what it is that these types of buildings, these types of organizations are going to mean in your life, all of that is part of your learning in this lifetime. And when I say the law of attraction, it really has to do with understanding money as a reflection, understanding the deeper significance of money and your relationship to it. Depending on how that North Node is aspected, you're going to be asked to heal some issues that may be there around money, and you're going to be asked to move towards a more enlightened understanding of money as well. Now, the eighth house also has to do with psychological regeneration. It covers psychoanalysis, the life-death rebirth cycle. And when a person has the north node in the eighth house, at some point in their life, depending on how that north node is aspected, and especially when a planet comes along by conjunction, um, that person is going to be asked to undergo a process of therapy, if you will, at some point in their life. I found this to be the case. Now, it could be therapy. It could be just self-help. A person goes through phases where they really get into different types of self-help movements, if you will. But there is this understanding that through understanding the self and the deeper motivations to what's happening, there can be the possibility to start afresh. There can be the possibility of release and letting go. The eighth house has been understood as, if you think about it, it's the part of the chart that has to do with elimination. It has to do with what you consciously 
let go and with secrets that you consciously keep. And so it has to do with being very aware of what you are not showing and choosing not to show others. And very often, if you think about it, most of us, one thing that we choose not to share with others or choose not to show is when we are in the process of elimination, as if we are going, for example, to the bathroom. That process of elimination is also covered by the eighth house. And so with this placement, there's a metaphorical understanding to this, of course. It has to do with realizing that sometimes the way that you're going to make progress, the way that you're going to move forward is to release, is to let go of what you don't need. Let go of what is crap, if you will, in your life. Let go of what you have fully used and let it go. What I have found with strong eighth house placements is that you are asked to undergo processes of change. Sometimes this will be done very consciously and smoothly and easily, again, depending on how that North Node is aspected at any given time. Other times, this will be undertaken, you know, with uh, just kicking and screaming, not wanting to go through this process of actually having to undergo through uh, undergo some change. But life is going to ask you over and over again to eliminate, to realize what you have chewed up and digested fully and now can release. Sometimes that's going to be relationships. That's going to be people. Sometimes that's going to be situations as well. There's also an element here where it comes to the eighth house that has to do with trust. Now, this is more associated, this whole idea of trust is very strongly associated with the eighth house. And because the eighth house is about seeing deeply, seeing the underlying motivations, it becomes... Um, really one of the soul learnings of this lifetime has to do with trusting other people, letting other people in, allowing yourself to be vulnerable to others, trusting others, not only in terms of your finances, in terms of having to share or having to expose your financial situation, having to ask for money at times, but also emotionally as well. Trusting that other people will be kind with you if you show them the parts of yourself that you don't really like to share, that you don't really like seeing. Now with the Scorpio vibration, the Scorpio vibration is very much about what's real and seeing the beauty in that, seeing the, the love and the wisdom in what is normally rejected and what is thought of as, as low or what we hide, what's taboo as well. It is really an energy of seeing the all the underlying motivations, all the manipulations that take place, whether we are conscious of them or not. So sometimes, for example, with a North Node in the sign of Scorpio, you are one who's going to attract people who tend to be rather intense, or at least you are one who is going to be drawn to experience that ask you to be very deeply honest with yourself, that ask you to bring forward qualities of intensity and commitment as well. Well, and sometimes with that intensity, you see all kinds of motivations and sometimes people aren't conscious of the ways in which they're taking advantage of other people or situations based on a perception they see that maybe the other person would rather have not seen, would rather have you not see. And with the North Node in the sign of Scorpio, you are asked to use this power wisely, to use this power with care, with intelligence, with responsibility, but also with a higher perspective, to use this power from a perspective of you choosing to be a force of transformation and a force of evolution, a force that allows yourself and other people to rise from the ashes, which is what the Scorpio vibration is about. I spoke about the life-death rebirth cycle. This is also about understanding how that operates in your own life. And with a North Node in the sign of Scorpio, this becomes especially pronounced, the whole idea of life-death rebirth, the whole idea of the phoenix rising from the ashes, at least once in that lifetime of that chart that person is going to go through a major process of rebirth. And it's all part of understanding of being a snake, shedding dead skin, letting go of what you don't need that gets in the way of you fully stepping into that, that vision and that embodiment of life, of love and wisdom that we are all moving towards individually and collectively as well.
Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have an idea of a video you would like to see, please do reach out. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, the YouTube comments, of course, and my website, NadiaShaw.com. And I'm so grateful for this moment with you. Until we connect again, take care. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.